let's make a portable sink. Hi, I'm Rosemary, and you're watching Season Living. Today we're going to take this rolling cart. It's an old kitchen cart that I picked up at a thrift store for a few dollars, and it's in rough shape. The wheels still work well. It's missing a few of the shelves, the metal shelves, but it does have the bottom shelf, and it has a wood top here. And I'm going to show you how you can take something like this and you can make yourself a portable sink. One that can move around, has running water. Now to start this project, first of all, you need to decide on what kind of a basin or bowl that you're going to want for your sink. And I've picked out this old melamine bowl at a thrift store for a dollar. And I figured it'd be easy to drill a hole through. So this is my basin. Then I picked up at the hardware store a drain, says a real cheap, uh, that will go into the bowl for the drain. Then I, on Amazon, I ordered this. This is a faucet that is battery operated. You recharge it with your USB cable, and it comes with a little short one that with the kit. And what this does, it can hook onto a five gallon water bottle and bring water up and out. There's a little button on the top that after you get it hooked up, push that and the water comes out. I've discovered that, well, that's too short. I need to make an adjustment here. So I found this in the plumbing department at the hardware store, but we're gonna use this for like an extender so that this can sit on top of that. One problem, <laughs> it still doesn't fit. So let me show you, I took this piece of plastic and let me show you right now what this is actually made out of. So now you see what this piece of plastic is made out of. What I'm gonna do with this is that it fits inside of here, nice and snug. And it fits in here, fairly snug. And that gives me a little more height for my faucet for the water to come out. So now we need to decide where do we want our bowl placement. And as you can see, it'll give us a little room here, a dispenser of soap and maybe some towels. All right, I've got my drill set up with a one and a half inch hole saw. And I have marked off where I want my hole. So let's see now if this is going to work. Right, okay. So I wanted to make sure that the circumference of the hole was right, and that's perfect. We need to drill the hole for the bowl. All right, next we need to find the, where we're gonna put the hole. So what I suggest is you place the bowl approximately where you want it, and the hole that you just drilled through, put your hand here, take your marker and go up inside the hole and draw a circle on the bottom of the bowl. There. So now we know where to drill our hole in the bowl. So now let's go ahead and... All right, I'm now changing out my bit for the hole where I want my faucet to sit. I've already pre-marked the area. And so we're going to go ahead and drill that out. All right, there. Now we have our two holes, the two main holes drilled. Now we have, we have another problem because this is a piece of plumbing. I'm not even sure what this is. It's some kind of a collar for something. I'm sure a plumber is going <laughs> to let me know my uh, what I should know here. The reason why I liked this piece is it has two, let me get up close here and show you. It has these two little extra pieces right there. And what I want to do is drill a hole into each of these so that I can fasten this down so that it's secure and the faucet won't go toppling over. All right, so the, this PVC piece has got this metal piece that I have to remove first before we can go any farther. There's some little screws in here. 
We'll just take those out. And we'll just put these in the bin in the garage. So now, like I said, we need to drill two holes. So I'm gonna use this drill bit here. So you can see I have my two holes that screws can go through. All right, the next step before we start to assemble this so that you can see it really does work is I'm going to sand the top. The top is in pretty bad condition. All right, I have sanded the surface so it's nice and smooth and fresh. There's still a lot of staining, uh, so I wanted to use a paint to kind of give it a new cover. And I just went and got one of those little color samples. It's for uh, indoor and exterior paint. And the color I had mixed, this is from Lowe's. It's um, a Sherman Williams product. And the color is called Dromedary Camel. So it's just a tan. And we're going to go ahead and just apply this. And when it dries, we can put the whole sink together and show you what it looks like when it's finished. So we're going to go ahead here right now and just give it a good probably two coats maybe three the painting is finished it's all dry. I gave it three coats of the paint and let it dry overnight. And I did a little pre-drilling for the faucet uh, collar that we're going to put on. So I think we're going to work with the bowl first. So once again, here's our bowl and we're going to line it up with the hole that we've placed. And I'm not going to be adding extra, any extra caulking or anything. I want this to be able to be um, disassembled and placed in the basement or the garage for the winter. So we're just gonna rely on the little rubber ring that comes with it as <laughs> let's cross our fingers will be enough. So I'm gonna place this into our bowl. And now I'm going to take the ring that comes with it to attach this and I'm just going to put it up here and screw it on. Just get it snug without over tightening because you don't want, because this is plastic and the bowl is the old fashioned style plastic of the melamine. So when you tighten this up, just tighten it snug without too much pressure. If you have to, if you have to turn it really hard, then you're overturning it. All right, so that didn't take any time at all. It's nice and secure to the top of this little uh, cart. Now I'm going to need to have two of these five gallon. I got these at Walmart years ago and I'm going to place this underneath the cart here. Now <laughs> we need something that will go from here to here. All right. It's not a long piece. I went into our garage into the, we have like a cardboard box full of just junk pieces of old PVC pieces and things. We might need just a little piece and I only need a small piece and it, it comes in sections, so I'm just going to cut one of these sections off to put here. All right, so I've cut off a section that I want to use. And first what I'm going to do is just attach it to this here. I'm going to just put that right in there, and it can rest right on there. Now, let's work on the faucet part. So now to start applying our faucet, we're going to need to put this collar on first. So I have drilled two screw holes. 
and I'll see if we can line this up here. Right, so I just used the garden hose and I filled the five gallon uh, jug down here and now it's time to attach a hose that will bring the water from the jug up into the faucet. I'll show you it up close so you can see the, uh, the numbers there. Figure out approximately how much hose I need. So about there. I'm going to cut it. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the hose here, go up here, and in here I'm going to attach, and I'm going to just, you're just going to push it nice and firm up into that, make sure it attaches good. All right, so you can see that. So now we're going to run the tubing down through that little hole that we had drilled. Here we have the cap to one of the five gallon jugs and I'm going to drill a hole in the center so that our water tube can run through it. This will help prevent mosquitoes from getting down inside of our water jug. Now that should work. All right, so remember the cap that we had drilled a hole in. What we're gonna do is we're gonna grab this hose Turn the cap so that you can run the hose through it. And continue to run this down through here. All right. Straighten it out some. Run your hose down through into your five gallon jug and then go ahead and screw the cap on. So let's see if this works. You just push the little button on the top. There we go. You can see the water. Now, is it perfect? No. <laughs> uh, you'll notice here, I'm gonna bring over, I'm gonna show you a close up of what I'm talking about when I say it's not perfect. The way this drain is designed, the bowl was not originally designed to be a sink, so it doesn't have the gravity flow to get rid of all that water. So you will probably have to take your hands and scoop up or take a towel and dry up the rest that's in here. So now I'll show you a close up of the faucet turned on and the water draining down into the five gallon uh, gray water tank. So it goes down through here and into the five gallon tank. Push the button on the top and it comes your water. Turn the water on and we're going to see how it drains down into here. Can you see it draining in? Now our sink at this state is finished. Unless you want it to be pretty. <laughs> in, this, in this state it's great for like a garage, a man cave, something like that. But if you're going to have it like in a cabin at a camp that has no running water and you want to have running water in this situation, you can do what I'm going to call a skirting. You're going to put a skirt on it. And so what I have found in my vintage collection <laughs> was some old tablecloths that are in, they're stained. They're in bad shape. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put a skirt around here cover it up to kind of hide this water station down here. Give it a little nicer appearance. So when I get that done, we'll come back. So now you can see I have attached the tablecloth uh, with just some thumbtacks. That way it can be easily removed. I can change out the tablecloth if I decide that I want to put a plastic tablecloth on because it's outside more. Now I will suggest that if you're going to leave this outside for any extended time, even overnight, you know there's rain coming. This part I would say keep protected. Either lift it and take it in the house or cover the whole thing with like 
a plastic garbage bag or something. The whole project was under 40, so I would say it was any anywhere from 35 to 40 dollars from everything here, from the vintage tablecloth to the bowl. The bowl was 99 cents, and I'm going to link this down below in the description box. So it was it was a very inexpensive project to do. It can be moved around on the deck if I need it moved out of the, out of the way. Uh, so I'm hoping that this inspires you to think outside the box, to think, what do I have at home that I could make an outdoor sink with? I could use it for a man cave, I could use it for the garage, you could use it in a barn, a cabin that has no running water. This now gives you that option to have that luxury. I hope you've enjoyed being with us today as we've put together this sink out of just ordinary discarded pieces other than the faucet. <laughs> so until next time, enjoy your season.